What's up everyone? My name is Dina and I go by Kina in game. Today I'll be talking about how to improve your overall lane control, which is a skill that I feel people really don't appreciate when looking to climb the ladder. One concept of lane control I'm going to address is how to create a huge wave of minions. This typically refers to as slow pushing. Slow pushing is essentially killing around two minions and at la and last hitting the rest, thereby creating a huge minion wave. This has many benefits. Firstly, if you are the enemy engaged the opponent, you'll typically pull out ahead because of all your minion damage. Secondly, it helps set up dives with your jungler. To elaborate on this, if there's a huge wave, the enemy makes a choice on whether or not to stay and potentially get dope upon by three or more people or base and miss out on a lot of CS. Something important to note is that slow pushing makes poking with champions such as Elise, Caitlyn, or Vladimir really easy since your enemy will have to decide on whether to take, harass, or lose a huge creep wave under tower. Lastly, slow pushing provides prevention against enemy jungler ganks. For example, in a bot lane, if a huge wave is pushed right up to the enemy tower, the enemy bot lane will be hesitant to follow up with a river gank from the enemy jungler because they'll potentially miss out on a few waves worth of CS to their tower. The next aspect of lane control is freezing a lane. Freezing a lane is keeping the enemy minion wave slightly larger than yours so it pushes towards you while keeping the wave just outside of your tower's range. The goal here is to keep the enemy's minion wave close to your tower to allow your jungler to gank or to zone your enemy from getting last hits. Faker, the player who is arguably the best mid laner in the world, utilizes freezing near his tower quite often. Bear in mind, however, this wouldn't work as well for bot lane as it would for top and mid lane, as most bot lanes have a ranged carry who can easily shove to your tower. Since tanking minion damage is also required to freeze a lane, tanking minion damage and harass from your enemy is often very dangerous unless you're willing your lane unless you're winning your lane by a significant margin. Also, bot lane is typically well warded, so freezing the lane won't necessarily allow many successful jungle ganks. The third concept is called shoving. This is simply pushing a wave as quickly as possible. The benefit of this has some overlap with slow pushing in that it keeps experience levels in your favor and allows you to win trades with your lane opponent. However, one thing that many people neglect is that by constantly shoving your death, you deny your enemy a lot of vision. For example, if you're constantly pushing the wave on the blue side, it becomes extremely difficult for the enemy support to place a ward in your tri-bush, making lane ganks a lot easier for your jungler. Lastly, if your opponent bases before you do, it gives you a free reign to shove and make them lose out on a lot of CS and experience. And that's it for this episode. This is my first video, so constructive feedback is very much appreciated. If you want to keep updated, feel free to follow me on Twitter. My link is in the description. Thank you.